Hey everybody, it's Tracy Fields, and uh, I'm gonna do be doing a review today on Camel Snooze Frost. Here's the can. Looks pretty cool. I did a review on it before. Let me turn this down. But uh, I just did this video. I had to remake it just now because uh, I just made an, one of the same review, but on my webcam. Like I had it barely past halfway up on the mic recording, and it and it recorded so loudly, like so good in my voice, it fucking started cracking up. It was crazy. I had to turn it down because it was like unbearable. I wouldn't want to upload shit like that. But um. Yeah, I've already got two of them in. Right here. And then over here. But, um, yeah, I'm just chilling here today, making a review with my cat, Bunny. Here she is. Bunny! Hey, Bunny! She's in a bad mood today. She always is. I don't know why. She's a good kitty, but she's kind of mean. Uh, this song's Alice in Chains. Uh, Last of My Kind. Off the latest album. I got it the other day. It's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be reviewing this. I'm going to show you all the can first. Tell you what I think of it. Here's the front. Here's the uh, back. It's pretty fresh. Here's the um, expiration date on it. It's got an auto focus. Here. There it is. October 11th. Uh, I got it in uh, the town that's real close to here, it's Corbin, um, and like they was sold out of it, like at almost every gas station. It's pretty, it's fucked up, but I'm happy it's pretty fresh. Uh, I found some um, Timber with Cool Wintergreen. I didn't get it, but I'm pretty sure I seen it at this gas station. I might get me some uh, next week. I've got enough dip anyways, because I've got a whole, in my house I got a half can of Coke Winter Green, some skull, a whole can of Skull Citrus, um, then over here I've got almost a full can of Timberwolf Peach, um, half can of Skull Citrus, quarter can of Kite Grape, and I got one left in here, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> These are pretty good. A lot of people call them pussy shit, but I don't think they are. Cause like, they're good if you're on the go somewhere and you wanna be discreet about it. They're spitless, you don't have to spit nowhere, so I like to dip them at school mostly. And just whenever. I've been dipping, I think this is my second can or so lately I've been dipping to this, but I like it. Normally I'd be dipping like some kayak or skull, but I like to do those. <clears throat> but, um. I forgot, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, yeah. They have these new skull, um. Like, pouches. Like, all the skull pouches are in these little slim cans. They're like half the size of the regular cans. And they're like a dollar thirty. There's less pouches, but I'd say if you're on a budget, that's what you should get for you. They sound pretty good. I hate when these girls juicy. Takes them a minute though. But uh, this is the first time I've actually seen this warning on the cans. Normally it says it's not a safe alternative to cigarettes. But here's what it says. It's, it's the first time I've seen it. Warning, this product may cause mouth cancer. I was reading about snoops, and it's like the less likely dip, like stuff that'll give you mouth cancer. I don't see why they're putting that on there. 
I was reading about a study or some shit, some college did. I'm not spitting the mud jug, because these are spitless. But, uh, on Camel Snoops, I gave it a uh, 5 out of 5, probably. Because they're discreet, spitless. Pretty good. But, um, yeah, this is my review of Camel Snoops. Get you a can, get you a mud jug. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, the song. This is crazy, and I'll see y'all later.